Okay. So I've just fed the uh, baby brine shrimp to the fry. Let's see him going after him. In this tank, we have the fry and we have a net to separate the eggs. <clears throat> this is the adults tank. These are the adults. They're very tame by now. They're unafraid of me. They've come to associate me with food a lot. And they even let me touch them. Sometimes they go to the surface and explore my finger. I don't know if they see food or think of maybe as food. They're not that they're not as skittish as when I bought them. They were very skittish. These fish are very happy in this tank. And you can tell by how beautiful they look and how freely they swim around. And also you can tell by the fact that they've, together these two females have put out six or seven spawns in the one or two months that I've owned them. And they've done it with a male. There's only one male. He's hiding. He's actually not hiding, he's defending the eggs right now because of the current spawn, which I'm about to show you. Because today, I'm going to pull the eggs from him. And he's not going to like that, he never does, but he gets over it and uh, he, um, I should have cleaned the glass before I did this. Let's see here. Kind of a last minute random thing that I'm deciding to do this video but um, he never likes it when I pull the eggs but if I didn't these guys wouldn't be here because he would have eaten them as babies which is actually what happened to the one batch that was a huge batch that I decided to leave in and not a single one is left of about 50 fry I think all are dead so, let's see where he is. And my tip, my particular male, they all probably have their own preference, but my particular male seems to really enjoy these oyster shells. Uh, the first time I saw him spawn, it was under a plastic tray that was under, under this. It was like a plastic to-go tray. Kind of like this thing right here. Basically, that thing was in there. Something like that was in there, and he actually burrowed under it. And that's where he made his first cave to spawn. And uh, so, you know, maybe I'll feed the girls while I'm at it here. He doesn't eat, and I'm pretty sure that he either survives off of predation or uh, predation of micro crustaceans or something. Either that, or he he must be snacking on you know some of the eggs that that they spawn together. Bug bites. They each got one, I think. I don't feed them too many. I just feed them like two or three each at a time. These are the bottom feeder ones. They're cheaper. And when I first started feeding these guys, they only seemed to want to eat off of uh, stuff close to the bottom anyway. They were too afraid to come up. So, give them one more. And he's already got one in his mouth. She can't get it. And you know, if if they if she doesn't get it, all these all these shrimp in here will get it. I've got shrimp in here. These ghost shrimp are probably breeding, but you know, I'm sure they're eating the eggs. They don't seem to have any negative interactions at all. The peacock cudgeons and the shrimp, other than the fact that I'm sure they're eating their eggs if they're breeding. All right, so now it's time to pull. I'm willing to bet he's under this one. And no, he's not. He spawned here last time, so he may have changed it up this time, and maybe he's under the other one. I think there's only two in here right now. It's a smaller one. 
There he is. And his coloration is very... has changed to become very interesting. Normally what he does is follows the shell. He doesn't want to leave the shell. But here are the eggs. Normally he'll follow, he's, he's looking around for it. And there's the mother kind of... You know, so that fanning motion that you see him doing is to aerate and maximize the flow so the eggs don't fungus and uh, die. And he'll continue doing that because he thinks there are still some there, or he doesn't fully realize what's happened yet, that I have them here. And it was like right about time, because they're starting to develop uh, Okay, so I'm going to take them out. I just, I do this. probably should like drip acclimate them or something, but all that I do, that's about 30, 20, 30 eggs. He's probably eaten some of this brood already. I put them in there like that, gently. And then uh, when this, when this, when this bubbler is on, That um, aerates the eggs pretty well. Now, usually, I put it over a little more. Like that. That's good enough circulation. So he's still over there, and psychologically, what I think has to be done, and this is what I do to make sure that he kind of knows that it's over, is I chase him away from the spot. This is basically to provide him with some psychological finality. This is to show him that it's over. They're gone. See if he goes back. You know, it's it's harsh, it's cruel, but uh, he's taken it a lot better this time than the previous times. In the past, he would have jumped out of the water with it. 